Measurement of x-rays, as we have discussed in uh, previous uh, videos, uh, we measure the effective dose, and those are the measurement, uh, the, the, the unit of measurement is sievert. Sievert actually, as a unit, is a very big um, uh, unit, so it is subdivided into uh, uh, smaller uh, fractions like millisieverts, one over a thousand, and microsieverts, one over a million of a, uh, of a sievert. However, uh, uh, when we measure radiation, actually what we're doing is that we are evaluating the, the effect of ionizing radiation of living tissue. So what we're measuring is how much energy is being given to into the living tissues. Of course, this is affected by many factors. Uh, 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 this affects the type of radiation. We know that there are many types of radiations, gamma, beta, alpha particles, x-rays, and gamma. The energy of that particular radiation, tissue type, again, is a very important factor because, you know, radio sensitivity, sensitivity differs from one tissue to another, and how long is the exposure. If the exposure is long, of course, naturally the effect uh, of the uh, uh, of the radiation will increase. <clears throat> and uh, 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 though the fraction of that dose is is limited, there are some facts that we have to, you know, uh, know before we proceed into this. Uh, all of us on this planet are exposed to an average uh, dose annual per year. Annual radiation dose, uh, 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 it's, uh, it's estimated to be 2.6 millisievert per year. This, of course, depends on the altitude, whether we have live high, uh, on a higher altitude or by the sea level. This number is by the sea level, by the way. <coughs> Now, if you divide this number on the year, on the days of the year, we are exposed to around around eight micro sieverts per day from the from the uh, what we said for the sources of radiation. We are, as a, an average, daily we are exposed to around eight micro sieverts per year per day. Sorry. This dose, as we will see in the coming slide, it is equal to one digital X-ray. Uh, if you take like for a molar tooth, one digital X-ray, you are exposing your patient to and the dose in terms of uh, b b b b the, the, the you know a comparison. Uh, you are exposing your patient the same dose that he gets or receives in a single day. Okay. Let's have an idea about the doses that we uh, uh, we we face. Uh, uh, airport scans. When we enter into this scanner, this is X-ray based. We are receiving actually 0 0.001 uh, millisievert, and a 10 10 second scan. If you do a periapical radiograph or a bite-wing radiograph uh, with F-speed or digital sensor, uh, an exposure time around point quarter of a second, point four of a second, you are exposed to 0 0.007 millisievert, millisievert, which is equal to the, uh, as we said, uh, around one micro, uh, eight microsieverts. This is in, in thousands, okay? Uh, if you live near to a, a, a nuclear plant, then you will be receiving, if you live for one whole year, then you will be receiving 0 0.01 millisievert, high dose, because you're in the vicinity of that nuclear planet. OPG of an exposure 18 seconds, usually the exposure differs according to the machine, it, it ranges between 14 to 18 seconds, then you are exposing the patient to uh, 0 .0, 0 0.014 millisieverts. 
If you travel across the U.S. from East Coast, say, for, to the West Coast, six hours flight, then you are actually exposing yourself, all the, all people, uh, all the passengers are exposed to 0 0.03 to 0.05 millisievert because they are flying at a higher altitude. The higher the altitude, the more is the exposure. Eating one banana. This is interesting. Eating one banana per day for a single for a whole year, we are receiving we are ingesting 0 0.036 millisievert because bananas contains phosphorus. Living in a brick house with concrete house rather than a wooden house for one year, we will receive a dose of 0 0.1 0 0.1 millisievert. Okay. Uh, while uh, uh, if you uh, 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 if you uh, uh, live uh, point one point one to, uh, point one, to uh, 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 point one to point two millisievert, this will be the X-ray for a single uh, uh, let's say lateral self. Okay, so. Uh, for a point five of a second. One chest X-ray for about point five of a second, you will receive point one to point five millisievert. But if a lady does a mammogram for one for point five of a second, she will see the difference. She will receive point three millisievert, which is a higher dose. One abdomen X-ray. Again, for 0.5 of a second, you will receive a dose depending on how much dose it's given to you, you know, but your uh, thickness and the, the obese patient, they will increase the dose. You will receive between 0.6 to 1.7 millisievert. The dose is higher for those airline crew member for a short flight for, for one year, you know, short flights are going up and down, up and down, they will receive 2.2 millisievert for the same reason that is stated in the last slide. CTs, this is of course for one year here over for the for the crew. Uh, one head CT scan for about 10 minutes, uh, the patient receives two to four millisievert, which is a high dose. Airline crew member who's traveling uh, US flights, this is, of course, this, as you will see in the references, these are all U.S.-based. Uh, if he flies for 900 hours per year, he will receive uh, a dose that ranges between 3 to 6 millisievert. Depends where he flies and how high, the, high is the altitude. One barium meal or barium enema for about 0.5 seconds, it's between 3 to 8 millisieverts because there is, this is a fluoroscopy-based program. So there are series of x-rays that are taken so the patient is exposed to a rather higher dose. Interestingly, cooking with natural gas from radon in certain areas for a year, you will have, receive a higher dose because radon uh, produces gamma ray, which is a high dose. Full body scan for about uh, 20 minutes, you will receive an, a dose between 5 to 15. Depends on the exposure protocol and how long is the exposure will take. Let's talk higher figures now. One chest CT, it's between 6 to 18 millisievert. Uh, those who uh, crew uh, in the polar flights between like Tokyo and New York, they receive higher doses because they're in the polar areas, the dose is even higher. Smoking one pack, 20 cigarettes per day for a, for a whole year will give you a dose of 13 millisieverts. And uh, the nuclear plant vodka plus us, if you go back to the previous slides, this is the maximum permissible dose that we get, 20 millisieverts over five consecutive years. This means 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. The total uh, divided over five years should be 100 milli, uh, uh, 80 millisieverts. 
or 100 millisieverts, sorry. But if in one year you will receive 50 millisieverts in a single year out of those five years, then you should stop working. Coronary angiogram for about one hour, see the high dose, 50 millisieverts. Because this is a continuous monitoring of the, of the dye over one hour. So there is a series of, you know, cinema, uh, the, 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 the x-rays are being taken for one whole hour. So the dose is high. Nuclear plant worker, maximum total exposure in one year. Lowest, now, let's talk about effects, real effects of carcinogen, uh, carcinogenic effect. The dose that will start carcinogenic effects in the living tissues is estimated to be 100 millisieverts, single dose. Temporary sterility in men is 0.25 sievert, single dose. While if the subject receives 0.5 to 2 to 0.55 sieverts, he uh, 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 hair loss and fatigue uh, w will result. If the dose is higher, like 0.7 to 0.75 sievert, single dose, then there will be hair loss in two to three weeks. One to two sievert for about an hour, it causes 5% uh, death rate. And two to six sieverts, it will cause externally immediate severe skin burns and 50% death rate, while a dose between 80 to 30 in a single dose for one hour, totally. Uh, this is what happens in the nuclear bombs. By, these, by the way, these figures are taken from those who survived the Hiroshima and Nagasaki air bombs. So, uh, from their generation, uh, uh, it's being, uh, uh, th th those figures are extracted. Now, let's have an idea about the radiation risks and the stages of pregnancy. Uh, actually, the radiation risks are related to the stage of pregnancy and the dose that is absor absorbed by the fetus. So the stage and the dose that is absorbed by the fetus. Radiation risks are most significant during the organogenesis and the early fetal period, somewhat less in the second trimester and they are the least in the third trimester. So in, in, in terms of the effect uh, on the fetus, the highest on the first three months, then uh, gets less uh, because, the, because the organogenesis is the formation of organs, and then it goes less and less. There is an effect, but the effect is the highest at the uh, uh, first uh, trimester. So, stage of pregnancy and the dose that is absorbed. Now, let's talk about the pregnant staff, females dentists and nurses working in the clinic, is there any risk? Now, if a pregnant lady, uh, a doctor or a nurse, she should not dis uh, abort a pregnancy or discontinue what she works, but provided that she maintains, as long as the annual exposure dose is maintained within the recommended limits of the 2.6 millisieverts per year, she is safe. What does this mean? If she maintains the exposure to the same as the normal population, which is 2.6 millisievert, remember the annual average annual dose, because she, in this case she is just like whether she is working in the clinic or work or, or w w walking in the street, she gets the same dose. If she maintains, if she manages to keep this dose within 2.6, then she is safe. All staff, whether males or females, are safe if they follow the proper radiation hygiene measures. So, pregnant ladies, pregnant doctors, dentists, and nurses need not to be afraid of, of being exposed to x-ray as long as they take the proper measures and protection. Actually, the proper measures of protection should be 
followed, whether for males or females, whether for uh, and females, whether they are pregnant or not. 